Oh, wow. Oh my God. Oh, yep. Okay. Okay. Wow. Wow. Whoa. Woo. Oh man. Mm. Oh, there he goes again. Wow. Ugh. Ugh. What's up guys? It is oppressively hot out here, but that's a good thing because it means the type of fish I wanna catch are gonna start biting a little bit more. Interesting bait today, guys, interesting bait. So I bought some livestock and had it butchered and then I took the, the animal and cleaned it myself um, and I saved a bunch of the organs out of it. And today we're gonna be fishing with its brain. Now I've got a, a nylon stocking here. We're gonna put the brain into that so it doesn't fly apart on the cask. Now, because we don't have more than one brain and we only bought the one animal, I'm gonna be fishing with a little bit of its liver as well. I'm gonna throw this out on a, ooh, it's dripping. <laughs> I'm gonna throw this out on another rod. Okay, so that whole day, not a single bite, not one. Despite seeing quite a number of alligator gar and knowing just how many catfish are in there. So we're coming out to a new spot. Maybe fishing earlier in the day is the secret. Both of those last trips I tried later half of the day. We're doing morning now. So we're gonna get down to our spot and see if maybe we can finally catch a fish on this brain. All right, it got to a pretty good spot. All right, so we cut the brain in half. So we've got the right and left hemisphere divided, which is cool because you can see all the cool uh, bits inside the brain. But I've cast one half on the bottom and one half on a float. So Lord willing, something takes. Oh, wow, oh my God. Okay, talk about a solid hook set. <laughs> My goodness, that was much more solid than I was expecting. I thought we were gonna get some give on that, but no, this is a big fish. Okay, we're on, brain bite. We're on, unreal. I was actually thinking, oh my God, I was actually thinking it wasn't gonna happen. He's cutting to the left, he's coming towards us actually. I know it looks like I'm kind of horsing him in, but he's moving our way. It'll be interesting to see what happens when he gets close. That was a heavy hook set. I mean, this fish is either big or he was just really sitting down into his own weight when that hook set happened. See, now he doesn't feel very big at all. Now he feels light, light as a feather. He's coming our way, but let's see what kind of sorcery this is. Oh, there he is. Hang on, let's not have the drag all the way up for this bit. Oh, oh, yep, okay, okay, wow, wow. Okay, so it is a good fish. He's a good fighter at least. Oh, nice. This is fun. Heavy duty bait caster on something big. Okay, there's the float. Okay, it's a gar, nice. Nice, it's an alligator gar, beautiful. He's not a, whoa, woo. <laughs> oh, he is actually quite nice. Oh man, mm. oh God. Oh, this may have been a mistake. No wonder that hook set was so solid. This is a good fish. This is a nice fish, man. Oh, there he goes again. Wow. Uh, uh, burning my thumb. I know it's I know it's just kind of me doing it to myself, but I like to use my thumb as a break. A lot of the times these reels aren't strong enough. These uh, smaller bait casters can't handle the run of a big gar. Also, it's just nice to have the, you, you know the pressure of your own thumb. You can kind of control it. There he is, there he is. Nice fish. 
very nice fish here he oh he's probably gonna take another another run when he gets a chance all right he's right there look at him oh was not expecting that oh man stop 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 i don't want him to go deep i don't want him to go deep there's some nasty nasty rocks down there and he will get this line wrapped under one of them that uh that 80 pound line we can handle that kind of thing when that happens you know uh, okay we're gonna try to reel this without losing this fish so kind of two hands on one here because uh, he is gonna be i'm holding this between my legs actually uh, come on trying to just get this stupid bait out the water holding this other rod between my legs oh my god i just got to keep it tight to him though that's the thing okay all right much easier now i was worried if you ran this way he'd get tossed uh entangled in that line now i feel comfortable backing up for the landing gear man that hook set was ridiculous Oof, there he is. There he is. Beautiful fish, man, he's still going. This uh, bait caster only has about 15 pounds worth of drag, which is more than people think it is. But uh, still, these fish require very, very um, unsubtle tactics. Look at him go. Look at him go, beautiful, beautiful. Now this braid, I'm, you notice I'm, oof, nice. You'll notice I'm using a braided leader here, so I don't want it to uh, cut in his teeth. When the line comes out the corner of an alligator guard's mouth, you have a really good chance of landing them, even with like, I'm gonna say as light as 200 pound braided leader. I wouldn't recommend that, but you could do it as long as you could keep it in the right spot. Now the braid, went through the front of his mouth actually so even with heavy braid now there's a chance he'll, he'll cut it but we got him beautiful fish all right hang on what a fish beautiful animal there we go get him in frame on a bait caster i love it and even more impressive on brain beautiful fish a real nice catch on that uh whoo falling Real nice catch on that bait caster. I love to have a fish like this on light tackle. Real fun. Let's get him back though. Alright, he's already going. He's already going. Oh, okay. I think my uh that may not show up on the GoPro very well because the GoPro got oriented uh, vertically on accident. I pressed uh record like that. So I may not be able to use that footage. Uh, he didn't really sit around and wait to get a breath. He was ready to go, which is fine. That is a good sign. Especially when you catch him on light tackle because it usually takes so long. Whew. All right, I'm not messing around. That's it for today. It took me three days to catch one good fish. I was so desperate to make this video work. I, uh, I'm gonna include a lot of the footage from the other days just leading into this moment. Making one video can take a while. But I'm very glad we got a beautiful fish like that. And I'm glad we got it on light tackle as well. Uh, catching a fish that size on this rod and reel, perfect. If I caught it on that really, even the other outfit's not that heavy. It's, uh, you know, Denali bottom feeder, Daiwa BG size 5,000. You know, that as far as gar are concerned, that's not that heavy, but that gear is very strong. It would not have been uh, nearly the fight that it was. All right, so if you guys want to support the channel and get loads of extra videos, I just did a really amazing uh, trip to Florida where we caught tons and tons of awesome predators, huge variety of predators on lures from the shore. It was so much fun. Patreon page is where you can see all those videos and get some of my best fishing spots, including this one. 
Tribor Outdoors, our apparel partner, check them out. I was rocking the flathead catfish cap today. I bring it with me when I buy you fish for luck. Link in the description. All right, I'm exhausted. Um, not from the fighting of the fish, but just from, you know, four days of filming straight with no result. Finally, we get one. I've got so much I got to do today, so I'm so glad we got that fish early. Let's get out of here. I will see you guys later. Comment below what you want to see more of.